Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Today I'm going to bring you along as I make a quick dessert. It's a no-bake dessert, my kind of dessert. And I'm also going to show you a charcuterie board that I made. I hope I'm saying that right. And then I'm going to do some cleaning as well. It's going to be a cook and clean with me. Let's get started. So first I'm going to take you back in time. Over this past weekend, we threw a wedding shower for a lady at our church who recently got married and I was in charge of fixing some type of tray, charcuterie board, and it was my first one I've ever made. I wanted to do really affordable ingredients because I know those things can get really expensive really quickly. So I did a lot of research on Pinterest about how to find all these ingredients at Aldi. Aldi is the perfect place to find all of these really nice cheeses and different things so I'm going to show you all of the ingredients that I used. I don't have footage of me putting it together because I put it together when I got to the wedding shower, but I do have footage of the beautiful spread that we had at the shower. So I'm going to share that with you now. So here's everything that I got for the board. I will tell you my total at the end. I got pistachios, some grapes that I ended up not using, six cracker assortment box. Those are really great and at a great price. This panino tray, I love these because it's already done for you. You don't have to wrap everything up. It's so nice. It's got the meat and the cheese. And then I also got this deli assortment, which it was pretty much gone. Everyone loved this stuff. I also got some olives. And then I grabbed this soft cheese that is pepperoni marinara. So incredibly good. I also picked up some spreadable cheese just in case anyone wanted that for their crackers. And a lot of people did. And then I got these cheese slices that are the extra sharp white cheddar. So total, I spent right at $30. It was $30 and some change for everything for the charcuterie board, which I felt like was a really fair price. We had these cupcakes and then cheesecake bites. And then a lady at the party grows all of these flowers and she arranged them for the party. So isn't that beautiful? Uh, they were breathtaking. And then here's my charcuterie board. I was so excited about it. It turned out really great. And everyone, it was almost completely gone when I left the party that night. We had these strawberry shortcakes in a cup over here. And of course we had some really yummy fruit as well. And then another flower arrangement on the other side that also came from her garden. It was just really beautiful. It was simple, but elegant and beautiful. And for punch, I found this recipe on Pinterest. I'm gonna link it below because that punch was one of my favorites I've ever had. Do y'all see my lovely magnolia flower over there? I got that off of our magnolia tree out in the front yard. I love it. I love the way it smells but they die so quickly. So if you have any advice on how to keep them alive longer in the house, let me know. So here are all the ingredients that we need for this. It's very simple. I've been leaving the cream cheese out on the counter to soften and then the whipped topping as well. I want all of that thawed and softened. Let's get started. Okay, let's measure out all of our ingredients first. I'm really excited to use this. I've never used magic shell. Um, the recipe said you could just use regular chocolate magic shell or you could get this Reese's and since it's a peanut butter pie, I decided to go with that. So I'm excited to try that for the first time, but let's get all of this measured out. We need a cup of powdered sugar. We also need a cup of creamy peanut butter. And we need a fourth a cup of milk. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is I've got a nine inch crust here. You could always make your own graham cracker crust, but I decided to go the easy route this time. I'm gonna open up our shell and we're just gonna spread this shell on the bottom of the graham cracker crust. Ooh, I think it needs to be shaken up. I'm just gonna use the back of a spoon. So let's just spread this all over the bottom. I really like this addition to the pie. I thought that was kind of cool to give it that extra chocolatey peanut butter layer. Now we'll just set this to the side. I'm gonna grab a large bowl. In here, we are gonna add our softened cream cheese. I have an entire block, eight ounces. And then I'm also gonna add our powdered sugar, which has some of the shell that I sprayed on there. Oops, <laughs> but I've got one cup of powdered sugar. Now let's just beat this until it's really well combined. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now in here, we're gonna add our peanut butter and our fourth a cup of milk. Let's mix this until it's smooth. Okay, we're almost done. This has been so easy. Lastly, we're just gonna take this whipped topping, all eight ounces of it, and fold it into this mixture. Mm, it's not quite done yet. I'm gonna pop it in the microwave really quickly just to make sure it thaws out the rest of the way. Okay, now that this has thawed the rest of the way, we're just gonna fold this in. All right, that's it. Now we're just gonna put this directly into the pie shell. So we've got this magic shell on top and of course it will harden in the fridge. Let's put this right on top. So in the notes on the recipe, it said you could definitely use a 10 inch. I almost would suggest that just because a little extra room would not be a bad idea. This is really full. So I'm just gonna put the lid on this and we're just gonna put it in the refrigerator for several hours just until it firms up. And then we will top it with some fun stuff at the very end. While I was editing this video, I noticed that I was wearing a Grace and Cotton t-shirt and I haven't talked about her shirts in a while. They are some of my favorite shirts. I wear them all of the time and this particular one is just so cute. It says be humble and kind and it has the magnolia blossom on there. I will link her website below and if you use the code MANDY10, you can save 10% off of your order. She has a lot of different designs to choose from. Okay, it is several hours later. We went to run some errands. Cole went and took his driver's test and he passed. So now we just have to take that certificate of completion to the DMV so he can get his license. But we're back and the kitchen is a bit of a mess. It doesn't look too bad on here, but let me show you more close up. Okay, so we went by, or I went by Target where Cole was taking his test. And then we also went by Zaxby's. That's what he wanted as his celebratory dinner. <laughs> So that's what's sitting there. The guys are outside right now doing yard work. So I didn't do much other than load the dishes earlier after I made that pie, but now let's clean up this kitchen. So I'm trying these for the first time from Target. I got this fruit and chia. This is the peaches and strawberry dragon fruit. And then I also got these fruit refreshers, grapefruit and oranges in pomegranate. My friend Shelly told me about these and I haven't been able to find them, so I'm excited that I finally did and they were on sale. So I just gr grabbed two packs. I also thought we would try this strawberry mango sparkling water. It's the Good and Gather brand. Also gonna give this a try. This is the Sun Balm Face SPF. Um, I just thought I needed one obviously for the summer. I'm gonna be outside a whole lot more. So I thought I would give this one a try. I recently ran out of my Pantene conditioning hair mist and I really like this stuff so I picked up another one of these. This is a good detangler for after you get out of the shower. And then Jessie Christine, I was chatting with her while I was at the store on Marco Polo and she told me to give this a try. This is the Kristen S, what is it called? Reconstructive Moisture Mask. So with me not washing my hair as much lately, my hair, the ends of my hair tend to be kind of dry. So. Thought I would give that a shot as well. And that's everything that I got. Super exciting, right? I'm guessing these would be better in the fridge, so that's where I'm gonna put them. Listen closely for a disaster about to happen. Lovely. Welcome to Living with Mandy. Do you see that? That would be the peaches in strawberry dragon fruit chia. Yeah, I dropped it. It busted everywhere. So I guess we're gonna try that right now. I was planning on trying the um, peanut butter pie, but you know, whatever. 
this kind of forces me to do this. Hopefully, I'm gonna like it. Mmm, mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. It would be even better cold. I don't want this whole thing right now. I'm gonna wrap it in plastic wrap, stick it in the fridge and just eat it within the next day. It should be fine. But this is what I do. I make messes all of the time. As I was down on the floor cleaning up my mess, I noticed that I needed to vacuum. And today's video is kindly sponsored by Hoover. I've worked with them in the past. I still have my Blade Plus. I use it every single day and I love it. The Hoover Blade Plus is super lightweight. I love how quickly I can get around with it. It is cordless, so it's battery operated, which is even better. I use it most often in our kitchen just because our kitchen has two entrances from the outside. So it just gets a lot of dust and dirt built up, but it picks it up with ease. I never have a problem with it losing suction. I'm almost always using it in eco mode. That just saves the battery a little bit, but I do love that it also has the button for carpet. Um, that just really just makes the transition from my hardwood floor or my tile floors to the carpet super easy. Another feature that I really appreciate is the fact that it has a light right there next to the floor. So even if you're kind of vacuuming in dim light, it lights up the floor. You can see all of that dust and dirt and believe me, we have plenty and it gets it all up. After each use, I just click off the canister, take it over to the trash can, empty it out, and then pop it right back on. It's very simple. And then I grab my battery, I take it off, and put it on the charger. If you are interested, I've got a link to this in the description box. You should definitely go check it out. I highly recommend. This little note here with the $10 bill, I won't show you his name, but let me tell you a little story. So this is a thank you note, and I'll just fold his name under here. I don't know this guy, but he put this in our mailbox today, along with a $10 bill. So yesterday, Cole was sitting there doing his schooling and he noticed a car stopped in front of our house and it stopped for quite a long time. Like it was parked in our front yard pretty much. And he said, mom, there's some guy here. So I went outside and I started walking to the car and I noticed the car was not running and the person was on the phone. So I walked up and he finally saw me and I said, hey, can I help you? <laughs> he said, I ran out of gas. He was, I'm gonna guess he's college age. He looked pretty young, but um, it was a nice car, but he ran out of gas. He said, I'm so sorry, I'm right in front of your house, but my brother is gonna bring me some gas. And I said, there's no need for that. We have gas here because we keep gas tanks on hand because we have the lawnmower and Steven and Cole do our yard, our neighbor's yard, and Steven's mom's yard. So we always have extra gas for the lawnmower on hand. I said, no worries, we'll just go grab that and we'll put enough in there so you can get to the gas station. And so he called his brother and told him not to come. And Cole went and got the gas. We gave him enough gas. He tried to give us money and I wouldn't let him. I said, nope, it's okay, just have a good day. And today, while Cole and I were gone, Cole was gone to take his test, Steven, texted me a picture of this thank you note and it just just makes me smile because he was raised right it says I wanted to thank you again for helping me out yesterday in front of your house thank you to you and your son for being so courteous this is the least I could do and he gave us ten dollars for the gas that we gave him which we didn't give him ten dollars for the gas but that was just so sweet of him but I just thought I would share I loved that
It's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody's singing, oh, everybody's singing, oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We've got nothing to lose. You're looking so, oh, you're looking so, oh. I've gotten to where I love to light this in the evenings. During the day, I use Scentsy, but this is a soy wax candle, and it's from a local store to me. It's called Sweet Tea Station. I'll link their information in the description box below. So this is the name of the little store that I went to to get this. They have the dough bowl um, candles, and they have lots of different scents. And the cool thing about it is, after I go through this particular one, I can take it back and get it refilled for half the price and I can choose a different scent if I want. They will put more flame retardant on it. They'll clean it out really well and refill it with a whole new set or a whole new scent for me to use. So I get to use this over and over again. Now I'm moving closer to you and it's getting dark in this room. Tell me what you want to do. Baby, let me love you. So I'm going to put some chocolate chips on top of mine, but you could definitely break up some Reese's peanut butter cups. That would probably be a really good idea as well. I just happen to have some extra chocolate chips here on hand, so I thought I would just do this. You can just barely see the magic shell on the bottom, but this is what it looks like. He's tired. He just came in from working outside. Whoa, that's rich. <laughs> that's what it said. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna have to split this one. Oh, wow. It said to cut the pieces really small, and I didn't tell you that until you had already cut it. I like it. The, the peanut butter taste of it. Well, it's a peanut butter pie, and it does have um, a chocolate shell underneath it. See that mm -hmm. little chocolate down there? Mm-hmm. Mmm. That has something to drink, though. Mm-hmm. That's good. Cut your piece very small, unless you're splitting it with someone like we are. It's pretty rich. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Very creamy. Mm -hmm. It's got cream cheese in it. So I would say this dessert gets two thumbs up from me. What about you? It's really good. And I love that it's no bake. I'm not the best baker. I'm just not. So that's why this appealed to me. It is always so satisfying to me to have a clean kitchen at night before I go to bed because that means the next morning when I wake up, I don't have to go in and clean up a kitchen. Give me a thumbs up if you agree. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Hit that red subscribe button before you leave. And don't forget to check my description box. I've got the Hoover Blade Plus linked there. They also have some other options as well, so you should go check those out. Thanks, y'all. See you next time. Bye.